uh, tonight I'm going to talk about how you can protect yourself. This is January 1st, 2021. All right. 2021. Okay. So, uh, here's what you have to know. First of all, the first thing you have to realize is this. All right. It's not a new year's yet. 2020 does not end until April 1st, 2021. Why April 1st? It's 2020, man. They're going to, 2020 is going to play a fucking prank on you. It's April 1st. Okay. So I know everybody's excited. Hey, 2020 is over. It's 2021. No, here's the first way to protect yourself. You have to understand we are still in the middle of this. You guys hear me? This is not the new year's just because the calendar rolled over. We are not out of this. I know that sounds stupid. Like this is really what I tuned in to watch. Yes. You have people who really believe that because they turned the page on the calendar, they ripped off the month off the calendar that somehow this coronavirus has disappeared. These are the same fuckers who thought that come November 4th, coronavirus was going to disappear. Who knows someone like that? Put a one in the comment section. If you know someone who swore to God that come November 4th, coronavirus was going to magically disappear. I know one person, that fucker still in the White House. And I'm not political. I don't really care politics. I'm not into politics. If he were a Democrat, I'd say the same shit. It's stupid. All right. The coronavirus does not know your politics. It does not know the time of year. It does not know, you know, what you believe. If you're gay, if you're straight, I am telling you, it's April Fool's. 2020 will not be over until April Fool's. And I'll explain why that is. Well, I'll do it right now. Okay. So let me give you the timeline real quick, okay? The very first vaccines are going out. 2.1 million vaccinations have been given. Very far short of the 20 million projected, okay? The, the goal. Oh, but we were shooting for the stars. Fuck you. You were shooting for the stars? You're not even close. You know, these administrations are sitting there going, oh, it was a high bar. We said we were going to roll it out. You're not even fucking close, right? Shooting for the stars and not hitting your goal would be what? What, 19 million? You didn't get your goal? 18 million? I'd forgive you. No, 2 million. You are off. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's not even close. You're not even like... Dude, you should be the one who's fired. You know your famous tagline, you're fired? Yeah, we know who, who needs to be fired. This is horrible, guys. This, okay, so why, why is Dr. Bond cussing so much already one minute into this broadcast? Reason why is this. It fucks up the entire fucking timeline. The coordination, what you think you can do, the celebration, everything y'all, we've been asking y'all to do. Huddle, you know, hunker down, wait it out, just Fucking just threw away these last three weeks again, okay? Because these, you're not even close. Don't even apologize. Oh, you know, like, why are you pussyfooting around this? Well, you know, it's on me. We kind of miscoordinated. It's a miscommunication. It was a miss, blah, blah, blah. The, what the fuck? No, it's not. You fucked up. It's not even close. Like, it was no coordination. It was so far. You guys understand that, right? They're not even close. If it was 18 million, they said, hey, 20 million, and they hit 18 million. Would you forgive them? Yes, of course. Man, way to go. Good job. It is nothing. Two million is nothing out of the 20 million. Oh, no, we were shooting high. Why don't you fucking shoot straight? How about trying that? How about you shoot straight for a change? Let the American people decide. Hey, hey, listen. We're going to aim for 20 million. This is what I do with my patients, right? We're going to aim for, we're going to aim for 150 pound weight loss. You know, I expect you to hit 120 pounds of weight loss. Uh, you would be considered successful if you were a hundred and a hundred pound weight loss. Ta-da! You set up these expectations, right? We're going to shoot for 20 million vaccinations. I would be over the moon if we got to 18 million vaccinations. It's a success if we get to 15 million vaccinations. Do you understand what I'm saying? So 2 million vaccinations, we're way behind the eight ball. So what's going to happen now is all the timelines are pushed back, okay? So I'm telling you guys, 2020 is not even near over. We're turning the corner. We have the vaccines. They're after. Oh, my God, are you not listening to me? 
Yes, we have the vaccines, but it doesn't matter. Why not, Dr. B? They're fucking sitting in a refrigeration system. They're not in arms. Vaccinations save lives, not vaccines. You can make all the fucking vaccines you want. You got to get the vaccines into the arms. So that part's failed. Now, now, Dr. V, you're just being overly stereotyping. You're just trying to get into eyeballs. You're just trying to be controversial. Yeah, because I'm hoping somebody's going to pay attention. I totally am trying to be over the top. I totally am wanting eyeballs. I am totally wanting people to, to share this and pay attention. Why? Because it can fucking save lives. You understand what I'm saying? There are people right now who believe that just because we turned the calendar that COVID magically is gone. These fuckers went out last night and they're celebrating in restaurants and bars and they're wearing, dressing up. I get it. I get it. You're cute. You're pretty. You're young. You're not afraid. I get it. You're not a sheeple. You're not a, you know, fear my, whatever you want to say, I'm going to live my life. Well, my colleagues are the ones who are dying, getting sick because you're going to come down with coronavirus or your mom, or you're going to No, I'm young and healthy, Dr. V. Well, you just fucking passed it to your mom and your grandmother. Now go back to my April videos from last spring when I said you're going to be the one passing it to your grandmother. Guess what's happening? It's exactly what's happening. Okay. Just because you want to celebrate 2021, 2020's over. Woo! Can't wait for this year to be over. No, it's not. It is not over. April 1st, if you're fucking lucky. I came up with that because I think it's cute. But let me explain the timeline. The 2 million vaccinations are in shoulders right now, okay? They'll need a second dose, which takes us to about, for the um, Moderna, it's 21 days. For Pfizer, it's 28 days. So now that takes you to the third week of um, January to get to get um, your second dose, which then takes you, you got to give yourself three to four weeks to form antibodies. Just because you had your first dose, you're not fucking Superman. You're not protected. You can still catch coronavirus. You were, you don't, you haven't formed antibodies. Oh, I got my dose of vaccine. I'm going to go New Year's. What the fuck's wrong with you? You don't, you haven't formed antibodies yet. Even after, oh, but the first dose offers some protection. <gasps> but you just got it. You, your body has not formed antibodies. What is wrong with y'all? Does that make sense what I'm saying? So people <coughs> are sitting there thinking that they, that it's okay to go out. It's okay to visit grandmother because they got their first dose of vaccine. I'm telling you, no. So you got to get to your second dose. Then you got to wait another three to four weeks before you have any sort of antibodies, measurable, meaningful amount of antibodies, right? So that takes you to Valentine's Day. So the first sign of really any sort of significant uh, vaccination results will be uh, Valentine's Day. Make sense? Yes? Okay. Now, that's only 2 million people, yo. Yay, I can't wait for Valentine's. Rip that motherfucker off the calendar. No, it's only 2 million people. Okay, so here comes Valentine's Day. Now, let's say... The new administration, let's say they all, I'll, I'll give, I'll give the old administration, the current administration, the benefit of the doubt. They get their shit together and they pump out 30 more million vaccines to make up for the fucking 18 million they missed, right? They just, burr, they're just injecting whatever they can get their hands on, right? They actually get their shit together and people get vaccinated. Valentine's Day only means the original 2 million have any sort of meaningful antibodies. Does this make sense? So the ones that we are about to inject with vac that we are about to vaccinate starting Monday, you got to push them to March, however many millions. But remember, I did the math for you guys. You got to have 80%, 75, 70 to 80% of people either come down with coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2. Someone messaged me about that. Dr. Vong, please say SARS-CoV-2. It's fucking coronavirus. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? SARS-CoV-2 um, or vaccinated. You got to have 80%, 330 million people. You're talking 250 million vaccinations, man. Not doses. 
That makes it 500 million doses before you have any sort of herd immunity. And some, you know, if you look at the data that says that could take six years at this rate, does that make sense? It's not going to take six years. Don't panic. See, if I told y'all that, that would be kind of the fear mongering. That would be, I'm telling you, they're going to get their shit together, but the timeline is dragging out. Who understands what I'm trying to say? Who understands what I'm trying to say? Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. So the first way to protect yourself, I know it sounds stupid. Way number one is to understand 2020 is not over. 20, you are in the middle of the dark winter. This is not the beginning of the end. The beginning of the end will not start till April 1st. Amen. Can I have an amen? Okay. Number two, this is the best way to protect yourself. You have to assume everybody right now who does not live with you has SARS-CoV-2. Dr. Vaughn, now you sound like a fear monger. Now this is fear monger. No, it's not. Let me explain it to you real quickly, okay? There is a saying. We are taught this in med school. We are taught this in residency. They beat this into us, okay? Because what happens is you kind of get these kind of, you study these weird diseases. So everybody, you think you kind of focus on these weird diseases and they say, no, you have to focus on what's the common disease. So the saying is this, if you hear hooves, if you hear hooves coming, like you hear like herding animals, um, think horses, not zebras. If you hear hooves, think horses, not zebras. So you want to think of common causes, common reasons, common things, right? Uh, rarely you'll have a weird one. You'll have a crazy diagnosis that makes it onto some TV show. Of course those happen. But when you hear hooves, you got to think horses, not zebras. Okay, what does that have to do with fucking coronavirus? I'm telling y'all, coronavirus is everywhere. You got to assume that everybody has coronavirus right now. You understand me? That's how I stay safe. This is what I do to protect myself and my family. Just because you know them, just because your family, you can't, you got to assume they have COVID. If they don't live underneath your house, under literally in your roof, you have to assume they're positive. I don't hang with anybody right now. That was, see, listen, but Dr. V, you know, like what about social distancing? What about this or that? That was cool back in the spring when we only had 2,000 cases a day. We have 200,000 cases a day. We passed 20 million positive cases. And the real number is probably close to 10 times that much. It is out there. Go back to my videos in the summer when I said this fall was going to be worse. Why? Because I said, now you, I, I predicted. You go back. You look at my June videos. I predicted higher than normal wildfires. Did we have that? Yes. I predicted more hurricanes than ever. Yes. We set records this time. I'm telling you, mudslides are coming, right? I predicted all this stuff and it all came true, right? And then I told you this fall is going to be worse. Why? Because people are going to be confused about, you know, they have cough. Is it, is it an allergy? Which I have allergies. I'm not on cocaine. Like, that's allergies, okay? I'm not on cocaine. I wish I was on cocaine. I, I'd be an interesting story. I'm just not. I have allergies. Number one. Number two, um, is it a cold? If it's not an allergy, it can be a common cold. You can have allergies, roll back the back of your throat, give uh, back of your throat, give you a sore throat. Could you give you a cough? Doesn't mean you have a cold. You're not infected with a cold causing virus. You have a cough secondary to allergies. That's a different diagnosis than a cough secondary to coronavirus, which then leads you to coronavirus, right? You have allergies, you have um, corona, uh, you have a cold, common cold, then you have the flu, influenza, <coughs> influenza A, influenza B. We're in the flu season right now. Hospitals are normally stretched during the winter because of the flu season. And then uh, lastly, you have uh, COVID, SARS-CoV-2, the pandemic. And so I was saying the average person is going to be really confused. They don't know. 
now what you're seeing is people all right watch this comment if you have um if you've heard or you've seen or you've gone to the doctor lately the last and by lately i mean the last day or two days and the people are so frustrated with you guys they go everybody who has a cold thinks they have covid everybody who has a cough thinks thinks they're gonna die of covid everybody you know, comment if that's what your nurses and healthcare providers are telling you right they've got it wrong listen i love my doctors i love my nurses i love my assistants nursing assistants tech girls tech guys i love them but they've got it wrong they have to assume that everybody who has a cough right now or a fever has covid why it's fucking horses it's everywhere this is cor coronavirus is the horse it's no longer the zebra does that make sense back in the summer when the cases weren't as rampant it was the zebra now it's the horse you have to assume that everybody who has a cough or especially especially if they lose their sense of taste and smell it's you know it's covid if you have a cough body aches fever is that a flu or is that covid who's paying attention to me today is january 1st 2021 someone has a fever someone in your household your your cousin your mother has a fever cough feels bad runny nose congestion is it a cold or is it covid who is paying attention is it the flu or is it covid who's paying attention what's the answer it's fucking COVID. Why? 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 Because it is everywhere. It's the, all of it's COVID. You have to assume COVID has taken over. It's pushing down the flu numbers. Now listen, some assholes will go, what about the flu? It's just the flu. These, these numbers are high because they're marketing flu cases as COVID. No, they are not. These numbers do not get added unless you test positive for COVID, dickhead. You don't just get to like, don't, a doctor doesn't get to mark down, I think it's influenza, and count it as a COVID number. It's tracked by your specific ID labeled to your COVID test that then turns positive. That's how we have 20 million COVID cases, dickhead. It's not because it's, they're lying about the flu. Now listen, the flu, but Dr. Vong, the flu numbers are down. Exactly. Why, why, who knows? Who's paying attention? Why are the flu numbers down? You don't have to pay $200,000 to get a fucking med school diploma. Who knows the answer to this? Why are the flu numbers down right now? Because it's fucking COVID. COVID is out there. The flu has not had a chance everybody's wearing masks people are social distancing and the ones who are catching anything is fucking catching sars cov 2. no it's sars cov 2. you understand what i'm saying influenza never had a chance to get started that's why the numbers are low does that make sense and once you feel bad now you're fucking freaking out you mask hole now you're pissed now you now you now you're angry because you have to wait now you're angry because there's a tent outside we've been fucking telling you for months this was going to happen now you're angry because you're waiting outside in a tent in the middle of winter and you're pissed because all they have is one heater that's how that's what we've been trying to avoid you mask hole now you're living with that now you now you're freezing cold in the tent and all they have is a porta potty for you you should have not gone to that fucking rally it's what we've been trying to tell you you didn't believe me now this is fucking damage control all right listen to me whole point of this this video how to protect yourself don't fucking ask me about supplements what supplements can i take dr vaughn to protect myself that was so april 2020 the conversation about supplement, what about vitamin D, Dr. Vaughn? Oh my fucking God. 
What if I took this supplement? What if I did this? What? Hey, Dr. V, I'm in this MLM. It's this awesome lotion, potion, hocus pocus shit. You should take it. It will protect you from coronavirus. Those days are gone. That ship has sailed. We have missed that opportunity. Listen to me. We have missed that opportunity. It's gone. It takes months for you to straighten out your immunity. Yeah, you can start now. Fine. Go get some sunshine. It's winter. I fucking told you to get sunshine. Go outside this summer. Now it's winter. Now you're bitching about it. All right. Vitamin D. Supplements. Zinc. Fine. Take them. Take them. But they'll take months to build up your immune system. You should have been fucking taking care of your diabetes years ago. Not right now, Dr. Vaughn. What can I eat to protect myself? What the fuck? That ship has sailed, y'all. This is damage control. Let me give you something you can understand. Car wreck comes in. Gunshot wound comes in. Patients bleeding on the OR table. Oh, look, they have a hangnail. What are you doing down there? Oh, well, you know, I noticed they have a hangnail. I gotta, I gotta get this. They are dying on the table. You gotta pack their belly. You got to pack off the liver that's bleeding. There's this gunshot bullet through the colon. You got to stop that blood, that bleeding colon. Poops peeling. You know, the fecal matter's pooling everywhere. It doesn't matter. I got, I got to sew that hole up. No, you don't. But poop is coming out everywhere. It doesn't matter. Patient's dying. You got to control the blood, okay? So what you do is you pack a bunch of sponges in there. You got to wall off the poop. There's a hole in the colon, Dr. V. The gunshot went through the small bowel. The gut juice is coming out. Doesn't matter. You got to sew it. No, you don't. Got to pack it away, contain the contamination, find all the bleeding, pack off the liver. All right? Here's an arterial bleed. Got to sew it. Fuck, the bullet went through the aorta. You got to fix the aorta. You got to sew the aorta. You can't worry about the hole in the colon. It's a hole in the colon. It's bad. You're going to die. I know that. But the aorta, the hole in the aorta is the major thing. And you're fucking worried about the fucking fingernail, the hangnail, the boo-boo, the scratch. What is wrong with you? We are at a critical stage. I've been telling you all this for months. We are way past this. Does that make sense? Okay. Damn, I'm hot about this. God, bless it, right? 20 million cases. All right, listen. Last one for Uncle Billy. Uncle Billy, so they can understand this, okay? Let them understand this. Uncle Billy, you have a pasture. And in that pasture, you have mostly cows, Mostly cows. You're you're a rancher. Doctor, well, I'm a rancher. Uncle Billy's a rancher. I love my ranchers. Don't you know? I'm making steak tonight. I made some rancher happy. All right. But let's say you have this pasture, and most of the time you have cows out there. But every now and then you'll have a cowboy on a horse go through it with his horse. Maybe you'll have a group of cowboys who are trying to herd the cattle. Maybe you bring your dog out there and he takes a shit. Maybe every now and then you'll have your neighbors, they're raising lamb and the lamb goes out there or the goats go out there and they'll graze on it. Or whatever, you're doing whatever, right? But most of the time, it's cows in your pasture. Who understands what I'm saying? So you decide to go for a stroll in the morning. And without looking down, because you're a badass. I know you're a badass. You're, you're impervious. And you step in some shit. Don't look down. What is the most likely type of shit you just stepped in? Who knows the answer? That's right. Fucking coronavirus. <laughs> you stepped in coronavirus. It's cow manure. It's most likely cow manure. Could it be horse manure? Sure it could be. Could it be lamb? Yes. Could it be your fucking dog who took a shit? Sure it could be. Could it be a little goat pellet? Yeah, you could have stepped in some goat shit. But it's mostly cow shit out there. So what are you most likely going to step in? Fucking cow shit. What is outside your door right now? You walk outside your front door. What's out there? It's the flu. They're lying. It's influenza. 
dude, shut the fuck up. It's coronavirus. It's out there in the community. So if you understand what I'm trying to tell you, this will save your life. You have to assume that everybody has coronavirus, okay? Now listen, number three, assume any symptoms. We are at this point. If you have a fever, if you have a cough, if you have body aches, especially if you have loss of smell or taste, assume you have COVID. It's COVID. Dr. Vong, I got tested. Test came back negative. You have COVID. It doesn't matter. We are past this point. I am telling you, this is how we train in medicine. I don't care what the test says. You have COVID. I'll give you an example. Same patient, trauma, gunshot, car wreck, bleeding everywhere, bleeding everywhere, et cetera. You run a basic lab panel. Blood is everywhere. I am up to my fucking elbows in blood. Who's paying attention? If you took a blood sample of that patient right now and you sent it to the lab, what would the hemoglobin say? Is it a normal blood count or a low blood count? What would it say? It would come back what? Fucking normal. You wouldn't know. If all you did was look at that blood sample, you would think that that patient is fine. Why? Because it hasn't taken its effect on the lab yet. Does that make sense? The blood count, the hematocrit, the hemoglobin, the H&H, &H, when you motherfuckers who watch Gray's Anatomies or ER, I need an H&H &H stat. That's what that means, hemoglobin, hematocrit. It has not reflected. Oh, no, no, no. They're not bleeding. And I'm up to my elbows in blood. I'm saying, yes, they are bleeding. Oh, no, no. I did this blood work. The H&H &H is a little low, but it's it's in the borderline. It's in normal. It's in the normal range. It's on the lower end of normal. They're okay. They are not okay. Who understands what I'm talking about? We have a critical patient now. This is not the time to be fucking. It's the election. It'll be over. You see January 6th. Y'all wait. Coronavirus will be gone. What the fuck is wrong with you? He cusses too much. I wish he wouldn't cuss. How has not cussing helped Dr. Fauci? How has it helped Dr. Sanjay Gupta? How has it helped us? Dude, we are critical. You must have never been in a trauma case. You must never hung out with surgeons during the middle of a trauma. There is no like, hey, yo, I need that hemostat stat now, clamp now, 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 irrigation suck. Now, we don't have time. You need big bore IVs right now. Open the line, central. Like, there is no pretty please sugar on top. Dude, we are dying here. This is not good. Who understands this? Dr. Vong, I have a fever body, but I went and got tested and it came back negative. So I went out for New Year's Eve. You are a fucking idiot. Do you understand me? But my test was negative. I don't care. You have coronavirus. You have COVID. You are positive. You need to isolate. Well, I've been quarantining. Quarantining is not isolating. Isolating means you need to not come out of your bedroom. People need to bring you food. They need to like leave it at the door. That is it. Does that make sense? It. We have reached a point where the one test does not matter. So go, let me go back to my analogy. I do the blood draw. The hemoglobin is normal. I, I repeat it 30 minutes. 10 minutes later, 30 minutes later, it's starting to go lower. I repeat it again. The next hour, it's lower. This is what we do when you have a GI bleed or peptic ulcer bleed or watching you for post-operative bleeding. We, we order an H&H &H every couple of hours to see what's the trend. Is it going down? Is it slowing? Has it stopped? It's the trend we're after, right? Eventually, that pathologist, that lab person is like, oh, critical value, that H&H &H is really low. And I'm up to my elbows in blood going, no shit, Sherlock. You get that first test. It's negative. See, I'm negative. But I still feel bad. Three days later, you go back and take another test. It's positive. Duh. 
I fucking told you. Dr. Vaughn, there is something wrong with the test. See, these tests are shit. They, no, you don't understand the science. You don't understand te how testing works. There's nothing fucking wrong with a test. We know there are false positives. We know there are things called false negatives. That's why the fucking testing strategy has been all wrong. We should have been testing people regularly, not less. Our fucking leadership. Oh, I told my team. Can we slow down the testing, please? Our numbers are through the roof. Your numbers are through the roof because it's fucking out there. Don't turn on the lights. Why not? Every time I turn on the lights, I see cockroaches. Ergo, if I don't turn on the lights, we don't have cockroaches. What the fuck? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I think I'm pregnant. How do you know? Did you take a pregnancy test? No, I didn't take a pregnancy test. But my belly's getting bigger. Uh, I haven't had a menstrual cycle in nine months. I'm hungry all the time. I'm throwing up all the time. But did, did you take a pregnancy test? If you don't take a pregnancy test, you're not positive. You're not pregnant. You understand that, right? The fuck is wrong with you? You don't take a, you don't take an HIV test. You don't have HIV. Eh. So you just go around sleeping, sleeping, having unprotected sex. You, you, you keep cheating on your wife, uncle Billy. You're the fucker who keeps passing around genital warts. You're the one who passed all that herpes in your church. Now it fucking makes sense. Cause you think you're too cool for a glove. I get it. Ah, uh, Uncle Billy. <laughs> Uncle Billy's the one who gave chlamydia to all of the choir. God. Oh, now it makes sense. Because he's too cool to glove up. Oh, I got it. Does this make sense? No, no, no. Um, look, look. See? No, I'm good. I'm all clean. How the fuck do you know? Oh, no, no. It's my cousin. He's there's no way he has coronavirus. No, they're family. They don't have coronavirus. They have fucking not only do they have fucking coronavirus, they have chlamydia. That's somebody's cousin. <laughs> you have to somebody has to be related to that fucker <laughs> who passed chlamydia all through the nursing home. You know what I'm talking about. You <laughs> there's that one dude. Who has the bottle of Viagra? He's got access to the Viagra. He's the one passing chlamydia all through the nursing home. This is no fucking different. Listen to me. This is no different. You have to assume everybody's positive. If you have symptoms right now, January 1st, 2021, it's COVID until proven otherwise. And proven otherwise does not mean one negative test. Why? This virus is fucking tricky. It has a very long incubation period. It's not like the flu. Let me tell you a couple of things. It's the flu, Dr. V. You're most contagious with the flu when you have symptoms with influenza. When are you most contagious with COVID? The one to two days before you show symptoms. One to two days before you show symptoms and your max symptoms. Those are when you are most infectious. Probably by the time you are feeling the worst, you're starting to not be as infectious. By the time you're getting better, your infectious rate goes down. Your transmissibility rate goes down. But before that, so exposure is down here. And there's this incubation period. It goes up, 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 infection rate, infection rate, transmissibility goes up, 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 two to three days before you have symptoms. You are peak infectious, transmissible. You start having symptoms, max symptoms, max symptoms, max symptoms, and now you start going down in terms of transmissibility. Does that make sense? It's not like the flu. The flu is you are most contagious when you are coughing and sneezing. That is not the case with this. You understand that. Okay. So what does that mean? You have no symptoms, but I feel fine. That's what asymptomatic means. You fucker. I, I felt fine. That's what it means. 
You don't know you have it. You went to fucking New Year's last night. You infected everybody at the bar. But I felt fine. Oh my god. But I felt bad today, so I went to test I went to test myself and thank god it came back negative. So I went to hang out with my girlfriend. The fuck is wrong with you? You just gave it to her. Who understands what I'm saying? If this has been helpful, please hit the share button. Please tag somebody. Please warn them. I am very upset tonight. <laughs> please warn them. Now listen, what if your doctor, you, and I love them, but we are behind. They don't understand it the way. Why is Dr. V number one? <laughs> Why does Dr. V have people who absolutely love him or absolutely hates him? I cut to the fucking point. I, I'm a step ahead. Listen, they are lying to you. They are not forceful enough. Oh, you know, these are going to be a dark winter. It's going to be bad. It's bad. And we haven't even fucking gotten to January. Wait till we get to the middle of January. The third week of January is going to... Oh my God, Dr. V, they're running out of hospital beds, this variant. Oh my God, you guys have no clue. LA is going to be everywhere. All these hospitals and all of these counties and communities. Oh, you just transfer them out. If you run out of hospital, what? This is crazy. They're out of hospital beds. Yeah, you can't transfer them. Why not? Where do you transfer them to? There are no hospital beds that everybody's full. Do you understand what I'm saying? We are fucked. They are telling patients to stay home. My One of my very, very good friends, his stepdad, who basically is his dad, thought he was having a heart attack. He has a history of a heart bypass, felt like he was having a heart attack. The EMTs came, ambulance came to his house. He, they're they're in they're in California in LA and Southern Southern California, and the ENT says we think you're having a heart attack, but we can't take you to the hospital. They are in complete diversion. There are no hospitals to take you to. You're just gonna have to stay home. We can't transport you. Take your nitroglycerin. Check your blood pressures. They are assigning care. Does that make sense? That's not cool, Dr. Vong. This is all a hoax. This is horrible. Open her up. Like, what? You are so confused. We got, see, shutting down doesn't matter, doesn't work. Oh my God, we are in this situation because we did not shut down because you had to go on your fucking shopping spree. You had to gather for Thanksgiving. You had to gather for Christmas. And now you just had to go out and celebrate New Year's last night. You are so confused, man. And this is not even the worst. The worst part is coming. January, guys, hunker down. Listen to me. Listen to me. I want to see how many people. My fan page, right? This is my fan page. 800 live viewers. I have 4,144 on all of my platforms, on all of the different groups. Uh, mostly on YouTube. There's probably about 3,000 people, eh, probably about 2,500 watching live on YouTube. 800 on my fan page. Dude, I love it. Thank you, guys. Thank you for sharing the message. You know, it means a lot to me. Dr. Bong, it's about your ego. Anybody who knows me knows it's not about my ego. I would. I want to show you pictures of my fucking cauliflower that I just grew and harvested. And I chopped it, and I look at it and I go, Dude, it's turning purple on the inside. I think I had a purple cauliflower, and I didn't know it. I would rather show you stuff. I don't want to be doing this. Does that make sense? But people will die if we don't. You understand that? And it's going to get worse. We're rounding the corner. What the fuck's wrong? We are not rounding the corner. The vaccines are here. No, they're not. They're in refrigerators. They're not in arms. You're talking months. We've got six more months. All right. The timeline. April 1st, April Fool's Day, is the official end of 2020. Dr. Vong is declaring it. 
April 1st is the official end of 2020. Then we're going to have to, hopefully by that time, we will be on to a kind of high risk people, your second tier, your essential workers by then at the rate we're going, we're not going to hit the healthcare workers. We were supposed to be done with healthcare workers already. We're not done. We are not, <laughs> we're not even near done with healthcare workers. And then senior home, and I know they've started, but I'm telling you, we are way behind, okay? So now you're talking high risk, the everyday person, we, we are talking the summer. I'm going to declare 4th of July, Independence Day, just like the movie. Who loves that movie, Independence Day with Will Smith, right? Jeff Goldblum, Jeff World, this genius guy. Oh, 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 that's my Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Was that good? Did you guys like my Jeff Gold? Oh, well, let me see. Hmm, let me see. <laughs> well, wait a minute. That might work. I could put a virus into this apple, and then I could upload it to the spaceship, and then, like, give the virus into the computer system of the spaceship. Oh, what's he saying? What? Can you translate for me? He's saying we're going to give the aliens a cold. Oh, hell, that might work. <laughs> Independence Day, baby. We're going to use my Apple technology to give a call to an alien alien race that has interstellar interstellar technology. That's really going to work. <laughs> they can mind read and control you with their mind. But somehow our Apple coding system is going to interface. <laughs> Love it. Here's the problem. We've watched too many zombie movies, too many walking dead movies. We think like, you know, that scene, like I'm turning into a zombie. I start to get like, like lesions on my face. Quick inject him with the vaccine. And then it gets better. And then, Face goes back to normal, and she's beautiful as always. No, no pock marks, no scars. She is just as beautiful as before, and it happened just like that. See, that's what we're used to. So now we're thinking, oh, if you just inject me with this, I got my vaccine. I'm good. I'm all good. You're not good. You're still spreading chlamydia, Uncle Billy. You just, you had one dose of doxycycline. You've only had one dose of penicillin. You got to finish out the, I took it for three days. You got to take it for 14 days. I, I took it for three. That's pretty good. You're giving everybody syphilis. She's my cousin. She's clean. Oh my God. Becky. <laughs> all right happy new year's everybody it's crazy times it's fucked up i'm going to be doing a facebook live every single day this weekend leading into new year's to talk about this sort of stuff because i've got to prepare you guys my goal is to try to do one almost every day leading us up through um this dark winters and i promise you i i only want to do videos when i feel like, like i've got something to add and um in a hopefully more interesting way. So I stopped doing it during the summer when we were all shut down and people weren't doing anything. And then I started again in July when our numbers were fucking skyrocketing. And then I stopped when we started going down, then we fucking reopened schools and all that shit. And our numbers going crazy. And so I started them again. That's it. So if you liked it, it was helpful. Please hit the share button. Please stay safe. Please stay safe.